What's up guys? So I just wanted to make this short little video here. Um, I get questions all the time on where I ordered my fenders from and how to order it. So I figured I would just make a dedicated video here on how to order up a set of metal cloak fenders for your TJ. So first we're just going to go up to the top left here, pull out this drop down menu. We're going to go to fenders and body armor. Then we're going to go to TJ LJ. Click on that. And then, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to order the front fenders. So this is going to replace your stock fender setup. So for me, I went with the Overline tube fender. So you can get them in steel or then, and then also aluminum. I bought the steel version. So you're going to order one of these on um, that's, it's the pair. So that also comes with the inner fender as well as the outer uh, fender here, as you can see. And then uh, if you want it raw metal or powder coated, you select that there. So once we've selected the front fenders, now we need to select a flare that's going to bolt up to that. So if you scroll down a little bit, they have an 8 inch, uh, 6 inch, 4 inch, and then 1.5 inch uh, rub rail. So that's what I got. So then you're just going to select that. Same idea, select whatever kind of finish you want. So that's the flare that actually bolts up to the fender. So also, uh, if you want the side uh, rocker rails, which I eventually am going to be purchasing um, come probably springtime so I can paint them, but I will be getting these. This kind of is like a rock guard slash, you know, sidestep thing for the side of the Jeep. But uh, as far as rear goes, so here you got to scroll past the flares so we're actually going to buy like a it's a mounting bracket that you actually mount to your jeep first and then the flare mounts to that so there's a couple different ways you can do the stock cut follows the exact dimensions of your stock wheel well i bought the mod cut as, as you can see with the mod cut here you have to cut away or you have the ability to cut away the tub of the Jeep to get you more clearance. So I bought that. I actually didn't cut the tub of my Jeep yet. I will be doing that probably. So, but anyway, so you can either buy just that type of flare or they also have like full corner guards that you can buy as well. So if you wanted full corner guards, you can get that as well. And it looks like they also sell that in aluminum. Um, and then make sure that if you have an LJ, buy the LJ one. And if you have a TJ, buy the TJ specific one. Um, so once you've selected the mounting plate, then we're going to be selecting the flare. So you have an 8 inch, 6 inch, 4 inch, and then 1.5 inch uh, like a rub rail. So I did the 4 inch. So similar idea, select your finish, and then now you have all your fenders set up. Uh, another thing you're going to want to do is if you did the front fenders, you're going to want to get some LED turn signals. So you're going to want to buy a set of their... LED turn signals, um, and when you do switch to LEDs to get rid of the hyper flashing, you're gonna get with um, the I think the LEDs just draw less uh, power, so the Jeep thinks that um, that the lights are burnt out. Um, so then you're gonna want to get an LED flasher, and that plugs into uh, at least on my Jeep, it's um, in the steering column. Uh, you just take out your old flasher and plug this flasher in. So this this one is good for 01 to 06. And then if you have 97 to 2000, um, they say to click here. Um, so I think you I think you have to get a different one if you have a an older Jeep. So then when you're done, you'll have uh, your turn signals, your fenders and flares, and same for the rear as well. So. But uh, yeah, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Um, I figured I'd make this video because I get, this is probably the number one question I get about my Jeep is uh, where did I get my fenders and how do I order them and all that kind of stuff. So I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, please give the video a thumbs up. Definitely consider subscribing. That helps me out a bunch guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.